We're going to take a look first how the scoring manual is organized. The very first section of the manual is called the user guide and it is comprised of one page and this is the bulk of that page. It basically describes the different types of rules that we will find in the manual. So there are three different types of rules. A recommended rule means that these rules are recommended for the routine scoring of polysomnography. So this means that the AASM, the American Academy of Sleep Medicine, suggests all sleep labs use these rules routinely, meaning every time they score a study, this is a rule that they should use. An acceptable rule, these are rules that may be used as alternatives to the recommended rules at the discretion of the clinician or investigator. For example, maybe part of your equipment isn't working correctly, and so an acceptable rule may say you may use another piece of equipment in its place. That would be an example of an acceptable rule. It's not something you should do all the time, but in special situations, this may be how you should handle it. Optional rules, these are suggested rules for uncommonly encountered events, events not known to have a physiological significance or events for which there has no consensus decision. Scoring may be performed at the discretion of the clinician or investigator. An example of this is maybe you cannot read the central electrode channel, like the, the waveform is just completely gone. Uh, an optional may, rule may be to use the occipital lobe for scoring. That's not a real rule, I'm just giving it as an example, but it's some it's an event that shouldn't happen, rarely will happen, and this is an option for you to use when you're scoring. So those are three different types of rules. So of those types of rules, we always want to follow the recommended rule whenever we can. In special circumstances, we may need to follow the acceptable rule, and in very rare circumstances, we may follow an optional rule. So as you're going through the different sections of the manual in this lesson, um, pay attention to the type of rules they are. Are they recommended, acceptable, or optional? Your RPSGT exam will be testing you only on recommended rules. Um, I hope I don't eat my words on that one. but. Okay, that concludes this explanation.